Hi there, and welcome to Nautilus Live, where today we're taking a look at corals, so feel free to come aboard and join us. Now, if you close your eyes, I'm sure you can come up with a mental image of what a coral is. Maybe you've seen pictures of a reef, or you might know coral from your favorite TV show about a talking sea sponge, but we'll save sponges for a different episode. What is coral really, though? A flower? A funky-looking rock? Well, turns out they're neither. Corals are a wicked cool and important part of life in the ocean. And for the types of coral that live down in the deep sea, our specialty, there's so much we have yet to learn. So join us while we explore five cool facts about this fascinating favorite from the seafloor. Coral fact number one. Deep sea corals are predatory animals. A lot of people just assume that corals are plants, kind of like a sea tree. And honestly, we can see why. They don't move much, most corals have branches, and they grow very slowly. But it turns out that corals are actually animals. Weird, right? And if you want to get even weirder, a lot of the corals found in the deeper depths of the ocean are predators. They have these little arms. See them? These are actually tiny stinging tentacles they use to capture food that's floating by, including living animals like krill. Now, we won't go as far as to say they're the apex predators of the sea, but if I were a tiny krill, I definitely wouldn't want to meet those tentacles up close. Coral fact number two. The coral you see is usually thousands of different animals. So now that we've covered how corals are actually animals, the craziest surprise is out of the way, right? Well, maybe not, because it turns out that what we think of as a coral is actually made up of many, many smaller, individual, genetically identical animals. So look over here. Although this cruel coral might look like one thing, it's not just a single organism, but instead a collection of tiny animals known as polyps, each only a fraction of an inch big. Now, some corals have a giant, giant polyp and can live happily by themselves, but most species come together to form a colony like these. Coral fact number three, corals move from where they are born. Now, part of the reason that so many people just assume that corals are plants is because mature corals are what's called sessile. They don't move. They're anchored to a rock and they grow slowly. But before they settle down, baby corals can move, floating around the ocean as jellyfish-like larvae before they happen upon the right spot to settle down. For most, home sweet home looks like a hard rock exposed to the ocean currents. This is why you can end up with scenes like this on the sides of seamounts. Take a close look and try to count all the different species of coral living together on the same rock. Isn't that awesome? Each of the corals that you see here drifted to that spot as a larva and decided to make that spot their home. Nice place. Coral fact number four. Deep sea corals are different from shallow corals. Corals that live in the shallow ocean are able to feed partially off of the power of sunlight by associating with algae that actually grow inside them. This is a type of cooperative symbiosis. That's when two organisms live together and help each other thrive. The algae uses the energy it gets from the sun to make sugars, then sharing any excess with the surrounding coral as food. Contrast this with life in the deep ocean where there isn't any sunlight at all. So here, corals can't rely on that symbiotic relationship. Instead, they've evolved to be entirely dependent on catching drifting food and eating marine snow. The teeny tiny bits of mucus, fish scales, poop, and dead plankton falling from the surface to survive. Our robot cameras can actually see this marine snow almost all the time. Look closely at this video from ROV Hercules and you might notice all that white stuff floating around. That's it, that's marine snow. Little particles of detritus floating around. Prime coral food, yum. And finally, coral fact number five. Deep sea corals create important habitat. Now lots of animals are always looking for the next meal in the deep dark ocean. So you can imagine that having a place to hide is pretty important. And a forest of corals probably looks very nice to this cute little fish. That's an example of coral being used as a habitat. A habitat is an environment that can provide food, shelter, breeding grounds, neighbors to cooperate with, and protection from predators. And corals are like the architects that create habitat for other critters as they grow. Let's go back to that amazing rocky slope we saw earlier. Just look at how many different animals are using and gathering around these corals, creating their own little ecosystems on that rock. 
Some animals, like the squat lobster and this basket star, are using the corals to climb high up in the water and hunt for their own food. And here's that fish using it to hide again. And oh, here's a sea star actually eating some of the coral. Cool, right? So let's review what we learned today. One, deep sea corals are predatory animals. Two, the coral you see is usually thousands of different animals. Three, coral larvae move from where they're born. Four, deep sea corals are different from shallow corals. And five, deep sea corals create important habitat. Well, there it is. Five interesting facts about corals and what makes them so unique and important to life in the oceans. Thank you so much for coming aboard and learning. Like this video? Keep exploring with us as we dive deeper into the wondrous world of our shared ocean.